Hey YouTube, it's Bernsey. Um, just want to take some time today to discuss, um, you know, leasing your Charger, Chrysler 300, or um, Challenger. Um, I've owned three Chargers, or actually, I haven't owned anything. Um, but I've leased three Chargers um, since 2011, and um, after after my initial buy after buy after buy in a short period of time, um, I accumulated um, a lot of, uh, you know, I, I ended up upside down on almost my first three or four car loans. Um, just because I like a change, I like new cars. Um, so I, you know, with my first Charger, I looked into to leasing and um, ever since that first one, um, I, I'll probably continue to lease. Um, so here's why I like to lease. Um, first of all, with my, with my position, I like new cars all the time. Um, so, you know, I, I set a commitment for three years and I get a new car in three years from then. And if for some reason I like it or I love it and I want to buy it out the lease at the end, I can do that. Um, the next reason is um, the payments are significantly less than a purchase. So for instance, um, my first all-wheel drive RT, um, I leased for $323 a month with zero down um, for 12,000 miles. My second one was um, a 2013 all-wheel drive RT Sport, and that was about 349, uh, 349 a month, zero down. And I'm currently in a 2016 RT Road and Track, um, and I put zero down on this, and I'm at uh, 415 a month. Um, with zero down and um, the beauty of it is is I um, turned in my last lease early so essentially I bought that out and I was negative like $750 so um, so for 415 for a $41,000 um, stickered car in my opinion um, is great so for me leasing works out um, and as far as negotiation, negotiate through email. Start um, contacting three or four dealers at the first part of the month. Um, stay in contact with them through email. Tease them. Uh, get a quote um, early in the month and stall out communications about mid-month. Um, maybe hit them up around uh, week three. Um, and then stall out again and um, they will probably come to you the last month or the last week of the month um, with a deal that you can't turn down um, dealers make their money off of um, hitting their sales goals uh, not necessarily by the profit margin per um, per vehicle um, so do that and also with a lease Sales price is always negotiable. Um, make sure you lock in the best um, sales price uh, first. Um, I would go to Edmonds, I would go to cars.com, see what the invoice price is for that, and make sure they're at least getting down to that invoice price. Um, and also, with a lease, I would not put a penny down because if, God forbid, you get in a wreck, um, the first year in, whatever money you put down, you lose the day that that, that, that car is totaled um, because they, they get gap insurance. So the leasee or the, 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 the bank that it's going through, they, they have to make sure they're covered and they get their money. But whatever you put down on a lease, if you're in a total loss, you will lose it. So um, I recommend putting zero down um, if you can. Um, and you know, that's about it for now. Um, so I've had a lot of experience in luck with leasing. Um, so if you have any questions about that, hit me up and like, comment, and subscribe. I'll have more later this weekend or first part of next week. Thanks guys, have a good weekend.
Jones. And for your encore, guys, I want um, I want to debunk um, the the rumors that uh, you can't modify your car with a lease. Um, I've gotten written permission from the dealer, the sales manager, and uh, the bank that my lease is through um, that allowed me to um, modify my exhaust. Um, as long as it's from the cat's back, um, there's no issue with that. So anything that's a bolt-on um, is basically free game, and you can always put your stock exhaust back on. So that's my encore. Have a good weekend. Thanks, guys.